Yeah, miss me with that bullshit. You ain't really wild, you a tourist. I be blacking out with the purest. I made a hundred thousand, then I freaked it. I made five hundred thousand, then I freaked it. I bought an eighty-seven for the weekend. This ain't what you want. 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 <laughs> Bob <laughs> Bear got me up cooking French toast, bacon, and eggs. Like I'm just a cook like that. I need to start cooking more. Though. I kind of want to. You do. You need. But I don't do that. So, so I don't cook a lot. You gonna lie? I mean, we have been slacking these yeah. last two weeks because we've been eating out. Yeah. But don't do it, boy. <laughs> Y'all, we was talking about getting our dog today. I'm excited. Bear, but we was talking about it. We were, we weren't just talking about the dog. It's my dog. Is what the lady say? Didn't it say who dog? Oh, okay. My dog. And I serve to you guys little egg plates, all of this luxurious thick bacon that I prepared, and French toast. Bear, why this gun is all in the damn video? <laughs> We stay right over here. Boy, but we stay right over here. I'm mad. I'm just like, oh, the gun just laying out next to the breakfast. Like, ooh, we. What? We serving up pistols for breakfast, nigga. What? Yeah, we with. You yeah. with? Bear, really? No. Really? We really? Keep one in the clip. Bear. We ready. Bear, bye. We ready. Come get this plate, boy. We ready. Now let me stop playing. Yeah, let now you for real stop, stop playing. Protection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, but we keep it on me though. Well, hey, I keep it on me. You do because it been sitting there. And you was at oh, work. Oh, I got one, in, another one in the car. Don't Bye. Play. You Don't you keep it. it on you, but you was at work though. With I, it, with it been sitting right there all week. I keep one in the car. I just told you, girl. You know I got one in the car. Don't play. Okay. All right. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, look at my face, y'all. I feel fresh faced, y'all. I'm not gonna wear no makeup today, y'all, since I keep saying y'all. Why you take the plate with the more eggs? Huh? Girl, you better start playing with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show them that French toast. Get that French toast in there. Yeah. 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 You gonna eat some sugar free, uh. No. And you got three pieces of toast. And let me see your plate. Look at that plate. I'm fat. Yeah, yeah. Let me see that plate. Plate looking lit, boy. Look at that plate, though. I'm fat. <laughs> Look at that plate. That's a big boy plate, bear. I don't know if you can handle all of that. Hmm. Mm. Hey, you guys. So, a lot of people be asking me, like, well, I had one subscriber ask me if I do face masks. Yes. I do not do them as often as I should, but I wanted to show you guys one face mask I use is uh, this charcoal detox warming mask. And I actually just picked this up from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has a lot of good face products. Do not sleep on them. Uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, you know, places like that. They have like just like random face products. Like this isn't even like a particular brand. It literally just says charcoal detox warming mask. Um, but anything with charcoal in it is great for like basically detoxing and getting your skin together and so it has it's funny because like how the packaging is this little paragraph right here is the entire instructions like right smack dab on the bottle so this says apply a generous layer to wet skin avoiding the eye and lip areas immediately you will feel the warming sensation of the formula in which you do <laughs> leave one for five minutes before rinse it with warm waters use one to two times per week after cleansing now again i do not use this a lot at all but I should so that's just one mask I have actually at this time I only have one more mask and it's from a black owned company let me just get it out I had a few masks but I threw them out because they were old and gross but this is my Balian mask and it's a powder form I actually have to mix it and you can mix it with water um and it was something else but I mix mine with witch hazel and so this is Balian therapeutical therapeutical <laughs> therapeutic facial mask improves complexion and fights acne I don't really have a acne problem but you know whatever I really liked it because it had green tea green clay cucumber and lemongrass and kale and clay in it and oh I didn't tell you guys it's from filthy cosmetics so again it's a black owned um company I'll put their Instagram name 
somewhere here but you can go check it's a girl her out there and she just has all kinds of stuff like your face she has like shea butters oils makeup all of that good stuff but just because people ask me about my skincare all the time i thought i would mention it here but i don't really use masks a lot like i said and uh, what i do use every day however would be cetaphil I love Cetaphil. I use it every day in the shower, um, just, you know, as a facial cleanser. But that's pretty much it for my face. And also, witch hazel is pretty good. Sometimes I put that on my face uh, to get, no, no, after I cleanse and everything. Then I'll, I'll actually do it today so you can see it. So I'm going to take a shower, wash this off, uh, put on my witch hazel, and then I have, like, some moisturizing skin stuff I'll put on so you guys can see. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I had to move to the other bathroom because Bear's taking a shower now, so I have like less space to do what I need to do. So I have to like hold this and try to work this out and don't break and drop nothing. So this is the witch hazel. It just looks like alcohol. Um, in the shower, I just washed off like the activated charcoal. So I'm gonna go in with like these little pad things, put some witch hazel oil, and just you know. Look at this. I just sat the camera down on the sink. We're gonna have to make it do, cause I wasn't about to go get no tripod for two seconds. Oh, it's falling. Okay. I'm just, you know, going in. Now, witch hazel is kind of drying, but the products I'm about to use afterwards will help out, but it's a good toner, like, so. I like to use it, and I do not use it every day, cause it's drying, but. My skin is pretty clean because of the charcoal. Now I'm about to use this uh, eye renewal cream that I had from Charlotte LaCroix. And I've had it for a while and I just started back using it. Because I had say yes to grapefruits like under eye stuff. But I lost it when I moved. I probably threw it out or left it at the old apartment. But I'm just going to like go under my eyes. Because y'all know how I feel about my designer bags that I have gonna like pat it in I don't even know if this helps but since I have it I'm just gonna use it it was sent to me I did a review on it a while ago so um I'm just gonna use it because I have it that's why I took Sunday Riley back because I'm like this is pretty much the same price point as Sunday Riley and if this can't help me I don't think Sunday Riley would either for spending all that money so just like that and then I'm going to go in with the Charlotte LaCroix uh, Day Cream as like my moisturizer. Probably picked up way too much because this stuff is really thick so you don't need a lot. Yeah, like a little bit I put right there can go over the whole face. And I still have some on my arm so I'm probably just going to like rub it into my hands or something. Because you don't want to be really greasy. <laughs> and this stuff is really moisturizing. So... I do have nice skin though. I'm happy. It's just these bags. I'm just gonna take the rest of it. Oh. Well, I was gonna go on my neck, but, <laughs> but it got on the robe. But anyway, that's pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to see. I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of like how I'm trying to like get myself together. And I'm not gonna pair it, wear any makeup today. I may put some highlighter on my cheeks. Um, and I got a new eyebrow gel. I'm probably just gonna groom them back. I may fill them in. I don't know, but we'll see. So I don't have no makeup and I look like a little kid. And Bear told me I always look like this, but I can't because I always have on makeup. Why are you burping? That's okay, so I'm about to tell them the story that happened this morning. So y'all, so. I don't. You, you can tell them, just don't put me in it. Why? Because I don't want to be in there. Why? That's negativity. He, it ain't negativity negative. Listen, he mad because somebody slid in the DMs talking about some way, am I going to plan a wedding or is you going to plan a And he tried to take my phone to say something nasty when he didn't have to do that. That man was just trying to shoot don't his shot. Yes, and look, he don't want to have nothing to say. Bear. The negativity started. He mad. So I'm not mad. He mad, y'all. Because somebody tried to shoot their shot and it actually was a nice attempt. So he feels some it type of way. It was a nice attempt. It was corny as fuck. It was not corny. It's better than when they be like, hey, show it. Let don't me, nobody do that let shit. Let me holler no at you. Boy, I get some crazy stuff. He don't, don't tell me what I get. 
Okay, I'm done, so you yeah. can come now. <laughs> huh? Bye. Are you buying me something at the mall no. today? Nigga, my birthday, yo, your birthday was. Oh, man, you want to look at the Macy's? Where are we going? I'm trying to go to the mall. Oh, he's out that way. Bear won't buy me nothing because his birthday's coming. Yeah, but why should I? My birthday's coming. Because I'm the girl. My birthday's coming too, Bear. Yeah, My birthday is coming. Okay, but it ain't coming no time soon. I have officially given up on my little thing that I will put on my car so that would make me have like a little tripod in my car. This thing loses screws and I don't know how the screws are just getting lost but they're just getting lost and I'm like where the hell the screw go? How the screw just come out? And now it's flimsy and it's not going to hold my camera up and I'm done because the last time I did that was just like maybe two years ago, a year and a half. I went to um, Ace Hardware and got the right type of screws for it and they fixed it up for me. The guy was so nice. I'm not expecting that treatment ever again. Um, and it's the screws just come out mysteriously so I am done with that anyway y'all day two of no makeup out into the world and I am enjoying my little fresh face I'm gonna run to the mall and do some stuff I know I went to the mall yesterday but y'all know how it is or maybe you don't let me just tell you it's not a good idea to be trying to go to the mall with no man and you really trying to get stuff so bear is gone to help his friend girlfriend move her stuff so he all the way in savannah um and i need to go do some things i'm probably gonna pick him up something for his birthday too since he's gone At, speaking of bear being gone one of y'all asses don't recognize him <laughs> and calling him bear he looking like well, who is you and it's a subscriber hey girl hey um anyway so i told y'all i was about to go run and do some errands that's pretty much y'all i had to put the camera down for this y'all i was gonna tell y'all while i was driving because i need to go because it's daylight saving so it, my mind is like oh it's like 11 o'clock my car clock says 10 55 but my iphone says that it is 11 55 did my watch update yeah it did electronics we ain't gotta update our stuff you know anyway um y'all so why did i engage in festivities last night and got high <laughs> and had a, and was watching um kendrick lamar music videos and um uh, i don't know if y'all have seen the love not the love yeah the love too but the loyalty video like i lost my mind that video if you didn't know huge kendrick lamar fan kendrick lamar and kanye west are like my top celebrities i don't really care about nobody else um just a quick little fact the only music concert i've ever been to was a, a kanye west concert when he did his jesus tour and kendrick lamar was opening up for him so i almost basically you can say seeing both of them in concert and i'm really not interested in going to another concert unless it's kanye west or kendrick lamar also um Ugh, brain fart i told bear yesterday that like i'm willing to spend the money for either one of them to have another concert and like i go all the way and get like backstage passes because i just want to meet them in my lifetime like those are only two celebrities at this present point but i'm just like i have to meet them before i perish and die so anyway i was watching kendrick lamar music videos last night because i was just feeling kendrick lamar and he always gets me in my feelings because i just don't understand why god why couldn't i have it why couldn't i have them i we're both Gemini's. I just feel like, why? It's funny that two of the guys that I really like are Gemini's. I just love us. But anyway, I was watching Kendrick Lamar videos last night and done went to sleep and had a dream about Kendrick Lamar. Y'all, let me tell y'all about this dream. I need to be quiet because y'all know I'll talk and talk and talk. I think y'all like it though. Anyway, so in the dream, for whatever reason, he was at my mom's house, but he was still like Kendrick Lamar. And I was just like, kind of like a little starstruck. I don't know why he would be at my mom's house, but he was. And um, he was outside and I went out to see him or whatever. And uh, I don't know, we talked for like a quick, it was just like, you know, a, a regular celeb interaction. Like, hey, um, yeah, I'm a fan, <laughs> yeah. And then I went back in the house and I seen that he like, I guess liked an Instagram photo. This is so lame and corny. Anyway, so I run outside like, don't, don't be liking my photos now, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so basically, I don't know why he was at my mom's house. That's so weird. Cause like, how, how is Kendrick Lamar, why? And he was there for a while. It was like a little visit, like maybe two or three days. I guess, let's just say he was friends with someone. 
I don't know. It's so weird. But I don't know the explanation for that. But his two day, three day little visit turned into us like really bonding and enjoying each other's company. And I'm having this like girl crush, you know, like I like I seriously do have. And so when it's time for him to leave, he's like, look, I really want you to come with me and meet me at the airport, you know, run away love and all of that. Girl, this is never going to happen. This is so sad. I'm done. But that's pretty much what happened in my dream. And I woke up sad realizing that this is never going to happen. And these neighbors is all on my camera. So let me go, girl. Good afternoon, you guys. So I just got back from work. Um, yeah, I'm in a good mood. I had a pretty good day today. I always enjoy hanging out with my high schoolers, you know. But this vlog was not supposed to stretch <laughs> to three days. Um, something happened Saturday and I just never talked to you guys about it. So I wanted to take the time to talk to you guys about it. But first... I want you guys to look at my face. So, um, I've been gone. I, I put this makeup on at seven o'clock in the morning and it's four and it looks good. Like it looks good if I can say so myself. Um, that new primer that I got, I really like, I don't have any smile lines today. Everything, the cream contours, I'm, I'm really loving this. So I'm probably going to do this for you guys tomorrow. Uh, my basically my get ready with me work face this yes yes what if I can just hype myself up anyway you guys so I had I guess she's in the subscriber um she follows me on snapchat um and she sent me a question I wanted to just address you know I already talked to her about it, but I just wanted to address it. So anyway, I'm looking at it off my phone now. And the question is, hey, Brian, quick question. How you, how do you not give a fuck? Like, how do you, how do you not let little things bother you? How do you shake it off and not react to it or not show that it affects your mood? Well, if you know me personally, you know that I'm extremely emotional. And uh, I do let little things bother me. And I have anxiety. So it stuff that's like shouldn't even be an issue. I'll have a whole freak out. Like I'll freak out about it. And I have a whole episode about it. So this is so far from the truth. Most of the stuff that I talk about you guys get that I don't give a fuck vibe from me. Because honestly I don't care about it. That's the only reason why. Certain stuff that I do care about and it bothers me. Or just little stuff like when i have my little anxiety episodes i tell you guys but i don't you guys don't see me like that a lot because i try to be positive here on this platform positivity so when i'm going through something or like i'm not in a positive state i i, I won't film at all so you guys don't get that like honestly you guys social media is a mirage i'm not saying that i'm fake far from it but you're not gonna get my bad because I'm probably not gonna take out my camera and film. I will make a whole video about this because y'all favorite YouTubers like to pull out their camera so to speak when real shit is happening. That's not real life. Some stuff is not finna occur on camera because when it happens, you, if you a real person, you're not finna be like, oh, let me grab my camera and go, no, cause you need to process it. We'll have a whole get ready with me on y'all favorite YouTubers and why I don't like them fake. Anyway, um, but no, I don't want y'all to think like I'm just this happy go lucky. I don't care about nothing. Don't nothing bother me type of person. Cause that's, that's far from the truth. Now, like I said, if you're saying, let's just say, so the situation like with my ex-husband or whatever, if you, I guess, cause when I tell people that they'll be like, Oh, how you not in jail? How you, cause honestly, I really don't care. <laughs> like I really honestly truly do not care like nothing but there is some unresolved issues that's kind of concerning that with my family that I do care about and I try not to talk about it because it's very upsetting to me and like I said it's unresolved so I just don't want you guys to think that I'm just so don't nothing bother me because that is so far from the truth like I'm so emotional and I'm sensitive and a lot of things bother me but i choose to try to be positive most of the time so you don't see it but it occurs and if you pay close attention some stuff i will mention and i'm not going to dwell on it so i'll mention it once and it's over with i'm not going to just drag it out but i just didn't want you guys to think like oh don't know what what nothing bothers me 
I try to be unbothered. Most of the time I'm unbothered. My day to day life is unbothered, but don't think that it's nothing that's like in my head that I just want to scream and yell about because it's not true. Also, what I told my subscriber is I don't care if you really literally are crying over spilled milk. If you are upset that the milk is spilled, those are your feelings and they're valid. And don't let nobody tell you that your feelings aren't valid. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. And people around you need to respect it. I don't even care what it's about. You don't have to agree and say that I'm right for feeling this way, but you just need to respect it. Respect the feelings. The feelings need to be respected. Okay, you guys, I could yap on and on, but that's what we have get ready with me for us. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Dance with my dogs in the nighttime. Ooh, trap nigga with the chickens like Popeye. Popeye. Money changing colors like Tada. Tada. I'm just trying to get it. I ain't trying to die.